But then, of course, we can speak about ar arenas of transformation. So what can we do about those big challenges? And of course, in Germany, we say Energiewende, so the energy transition. We have to speak about a circular transition. So an economy where there is no waste, particularly in the food industry. It cannot be that one third of the food that we produce ends up as waste, even though the majority is still edible. So we have to think in, thir in circles. And of course, at the very end, we have to talk about consumer change. How can we, if you will, induce behavioral change for the better, for more sustainable and healthy options in society? And this is another aspect where we can see that Corona has done very, very much good, if you will, because we see an evolution of the consumer towards a prosumer. So a consumer that takes part in the production, in the value chain, that asks questions with regards to the people who offer food, and of course that wants to know more about the, the heritage, the origin, the quality, the processes, the stories behind the food that they consume, that they eat. So we have an evolution of consumers becoming prosumers and we can see that in pretty much every statistic these days, for instance, particularly the younger generations. Speaking about the generation Y, the generation Z, they are more prone to this phenomena because they are four times more likely to avoid buying food from large corporations because they cannot tell all the information or they don't use it in communication. And keywords are authenticity, credibility, and of course startups often are way ahead of big corporations because they use those factors of, if you will, origin and quality and sustainability. And pretty much often their visions are not PR style adjusted mission statements, but the very original impulses of their economic behavior. So they put that at the core of their business case. They want to change the world for better, and this is why they talk about it. So at the very end, if you look at the future of offering food, it has to be about transparency, it has to be about trust, and it has to be about resonance. Because transparency is increasingly measured by how authentically companies generally commit themselves to challenges such as climate change or biodiversity loss. And the point is to manifest meaning through sensual seduction, if you will, and to make connections, to make connections between consumers and the food they eat, but also to make connections between consumers and the ones that produce the food, to tell the story behind the food that they eventually eat. And this is getting more and more important. <laughs>